Are you feeling overwhelmed, exhausted, or just plain tired of life's relentless challenges? Well, you're not alone. But what if I told you that legendary samurai Miyamoto Musashi, whose wisdom has transcended centuries, has advice specifically tailored for those moments when life feels like an endless struggle? In this video, we're delving deep into Musashi's timeless teachings to discover how you can regain your strength, purpose, and passion, even in the midst of. Lesson 1. Accept everything just the way it is. Life is full of surprises and things we don't expect. Sometimes, we face problems we didn't see coming. It's natural to feel upset about these challenges, wishing things were different. But Musashi teaches us to look at life differently. Accepting life doesn't mean giving up or doing nothing. It means recognizing what's happening right now, even if it's not perfect. It's about letting go of always wanting things our way and going with the flow of life. When we accept reality as it is, we free ourselves from feeling disappointed when things don't turn out how we hoped. Accepting things as they are brings peace inside us. When we stop trying to change everything around us, we can be thankful and mindful. This helps us deal with problems easier and clearer, making us feel emotionally strong and stable. When we do this with others, we understand them better and care for them more. Instead of wanting them to be a certain way, we appreciate who they are. This helps us connect deeply and respect each other. Acceptance helps us avoid pain and unhappiness. When we fight against reality or want things to be perfect, we make ourselves suffer for no reason. Musashi teaches us to go with the flow of life and accept that things change. When we accept life with its ups and downs, we make our lives more meaningful. Let's listen to Musashi and accept everything as it is. Let's embrace every moment with an open heart and a calm mind. Lesson 2. Do not seek pleasure for its own sake. In today's world, many people chase after things that make them feel good right away like eating tasty food or doing fun activities. But Musashi, a wise thinker, warns us that just seeking pleasure all the time might not make us truly happy. He says real happiness comes from doing things that matter to us and help us grow. When we focus only on things that give us quick pleasure, we might miss out on deeper joy and satisfaction. Musashi's advice reminds us to think about what really matters in life, we often get caught up in wanting things now without thinking about the future. We're bombarded with messages telling us to buy stuff and do things that feel good instantly. But Musashi says we should stop and think about what makes us truly happy in the long run. When we talk about pleasure, we usually mean things that give us short-term happiness, like having fun or eating tasty food. Musashi doesn't say we shouldn't enjoy these things, but he believes that lasting happiness doesn't come from them alone. He says we should focus on things that help us grow as people and make us feel fulfilled in the long term. Musashi's main message is about having control over ourselves and knowing what's really important to us. He says we should resist the urge to always go for what feels good right away. Instead, we should stay focused on our goals and values, even when it's hard. He also talks about the importance of living in a way that matches our beliefs and values. Instead of just chasing after pleasure, he says we should do things that matter to us and make us feel fulfilled inside. When we do this, we'll feel a sense of purpose and satisfaction that goes beyond just feeling good for a moment. Musashi wants us to understand that true happiness comes from within. Instead of relying on things outside of ourselves to make us happy, like buying stuff or doing fun activities, he says we should look inside ourselves for peace and contentment. This means taking time to understand ourselves and what really matters to us. His advice is a reminder for us to think carefully about our actions and what truly makes us happy. By living with purpose and staying true to our values, we can find lasting happiness that goes beyond just feeling good for a moment. Lesson 3 don't rely on fleeting emotions. Feelings come and go quickly. Musashi tells us not to let our feelings control what we do. Instead, he says we should build up our inner strength and stay strong in our minds. This helps us handle life's good and bad times better. 
If we learn to notice our feelings and control them, we can break free from being ruled by them and feel more steady inside. Musashi gives important advice. He says don't trust just how you feel in the moment. He warns that if we let our quick feelings decide everything, we might end up on the wrong path. Instead, he wants us to understand ourselves better, going deeper than just how we feel right now. We all feel emotions in different ways and strengths. From being super happy to feeling really sad, emotions color how we see the world. But Musashi reminds us that while feelings are part of being human, we shouldn't let them be our only guide. They can change fast, like clouds moving across the sky. If we let our feelings run our lives, it's like a ship getting lost in a stormy sea. Musashi wants us to learn to be strong inside, even when our feelings are all over the place. If we pay attention to our feelings and control them, we can keep steady when life gets rough. This inner strength helps us make better choices even when we're feeling emotional. So how do we stop feelings from controlling us? Musashi says we need to be mindful and reflect on ourselves. Instead of reacting right away to how we feel, we should watch our feelings without judging them. This helps us understand that feelings come and go. By doing this, we can respond to situations more thoughtfully, instead of just reacting based on how we feel in the moment. By becoming emotionally strong, we give ourselves the power to handle life's challenges calmly. Instead of getting caught up in ups and downs, we learn to stay balanced and keep going. Feelings are like the tide, always changing. When things get tough, it's easy to get swept away by fear, anger, or sadness. But Musashi's advice reminds us to see beyond these quick feelings and think more deeply about things. By not relying too much on fleeting feelings, we open ourselves up to more wisdom and clarity. This helps us see past tough times and find a way forward based on what's reasonable and what feels right. Musashi teaches us not to depend too much on quick feelings. Instead, he encourages us to find a steady balance inside by being aware and staying in control. This way, we can handle life's ups and downs better and feel more at peace with ourselves. Lesson 4. Be humble and care about the world. Being humble is really important. According to Miyamoto Musashi, he was all about being modest and kind to others. In his lessons, he talked a lot about being humble and caring. Being humble means not thinking you're better than others. It's about knowing your limits and respecting everyone. Nobody's perfect, so it's important to be open to learning and growing. Being humble helps us build good relationships, work together, and understand each other better. When we're humble, we can relate to what others are going through. We become more aware of their feelings and needs, and we show we care. By being kind and understanding, we create a sense of togetherness and friendship. Caring about the world means looking out for others and the environment. It's about knowing we're all connected and wanting to make things better. When we care about the world, we try to do good things, like helping others or protecting nature. Being humble and caring doesn't just benefit us, it helps everyone. It encourages us to be curious and open-minded and to think about others. Instead of being selfish, we focus on making the world a better place for everyone. In a world where people often care more about themselves, being humble and kind is really important. These qualities remind us that we're all in this together and that we should help each other. They also remind us to think about how our actions affect others and to be good and kind in everything we do. When we live with humility and caring, we can inspire others to do the same. Our actions can spread kindness and make the world a better place. By following the teachings of Miyamoto Musashi and being humble and caring, we can create a world where people understand each other and treat each other with respect. Being humble and caring helps us connect with others, understand each other, and make the world a better place. By following Miyamoto Mizashi's lessons and living with humility and care, we can create a future where people care for each other and work together in harmony. Lesson 5. Let go of wanting things all the time. Every day, we see lots of ads telling us we need the newest gadgets, coolest clothes, fanciest cars, 
and biggest houses to be happy. People think being successful and happy means having lots of stuff. This makes many feel bad if they don't have enough. But Miyamoto Musashi has a different idea. He says real happiness doesn't come from having lots of things, but from being peaceful inside. When we always want more, we're never really happy. Our wants just keep growing, and we keep chasing after new things. Musashi tells us to stop this endless chase. He wants us to think about what we really want, and if it truly makes us happy or just distracts us from being calm inside. If we let go of wanting stuff and needing people to like us, we can be free from always wanting more. Not always wanting things doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means focusing on what's important to us and what we really care about. It's about finding joy from inside ourselves, not from stuff. This lesson teaches us to be thankful and happy with what we have. Instead of always thinking about what we don't have, we learn to appreciate what we do. This makes us feel satisfied even without having lots of things. When we stop wanting things all the time, we can live more peacefully and honestly. We don't have to always chase after things to feel good about ourselves. We can find happiness from within. This lesson also talks about keeping life simple. By getting rid of things we don't need, we make space for what truly makes us happy. We learn to enjoy simple things and feel free from having too much stuff. In a world where people think success means having lots of stuff, not always wanting things is like an act of loving ourselves. It reminds us that our value isn't about what we own but who we are. We start to care more about relationships, experiences, and growing as people instead of just owning things. We become stronger against the pressure to buy more and be like everyone else. Instead, we choose our own path based on what truly makes us happy. Not always wanting things is something we have to keep practicing. It needs us to be aware of ourselves and have self-control. It helps us see that life is more than just stuff. It lets us live with more joy and meaning. When we stop always wanting more, we open ourselves to a happier, more satisfied life. Lesson 6. Don't dwell on past actions. In life, we often look back on things we did before and feel bad about them. We might think about mistakes we made, things we missed, or choices we wish we could change. This habit of thinking too much about the past can make us feel really bad, and it stops us from enjoying the present and moving forward with a clear mind and a plan. Miyamoto Musashi gives us good advice on how to stop thinking too much about the past and live better in the present. Musashi says it's important not to keep thinking about things we did in the past, but instead to learn from them and use what we learn to make our future better. When we keep thinking about past things we did, we get stuck in a cycle of feeling bad that stops us from being the best we can be. We might feel guilty, embarrassed, or not good enough, and this can make it hard for us to make good decisions now. If we let go of the past and stop thinking about old things we did, we can feel lighter and more free to do new things. Musashi teaches us that to grow and get better, we need to accept our mistakes from the past as things we can learn from and use them to do better in the future. Instead of worrying about the past, Musashi wants us to focus on what we can do now to get closer to what we want. By paying attention to what's happening now and making choices that match what we believe in and want to achieve, we can live better lives. When we stop thinking too much about past things we did, we have more space in our minds and hearts to imagine a future where we aren't limited by mistakes we made before. We can feel hopeful and excited about what each new day might bring, knowing that we have the power to make our lives better by what we do now. By forgiving ourselves and others for past mistakes, we can let go of bad feelings and move on from things that happened before. Musashi tells us that holding on to bad feelings only holds us back from growing and changing for the better. When we focus on the present and let go of the past, we can feel more peaceful and happy inside. This sets us up for more success and happiness in the future. By being mindful, forgiving, and kind to ourselves, we can stop feeling bad about the past and look forward to a future where good things can happen. Let's all remember Masashi's advice and try to live each day with a plan 
a purpose, and thanks, knowing that our past doesn't control us, but what we do now shapes our future. Miyamoto Musashi's ideas teach us how to live a good life, even when things are tough. By following his wise words and using them in our lives every day, we can become stronger, more resilient, and feel like our lives have meaning, no matter what challenges we face. Let's remember his words when things get hard and use them to guide us through life's ups and downs.